I am defining Hinduism in just nutshell. Listen. See how we exist physically with this physical body. How we exist physiologically. How we exist psychologically. How we exist mentally. How we exist emotionally. How we exist consciously. In multi levels, how we exist and how cosmos exists and how we can have the best relationship with the cosmos and how nature around us exists, how we can have the best relationship with the nature and how we can all complement each other coexist and complement each other. I tell you, Hinduism has no aliens. The idea of aliens is stupidity. We regularly had visitors, relationships including sexual relationship and marriage relationship with interplanetary and interdimensional beings. Some of the western countries call the other country people as aliens. When I heard that word, I was shocked. Hey, in Hindu tradition, Narada comes regularly to planet earth. Ramba, Menaga, Urvasi regularly come to planet earth and human beings fall in love with them. They fall in love with human beings and get married, give birth to kids. We don't call them. Aliens. The idea of aliens does not exist in Hinduism because the whole cosmos is a home. There is a beautiful verse. Madacha Parvati Devi Pita Devo Maheshwara Bandava Sivabhaktascha Swadesho Bhuvanatrayam Mother is Parvati Father is Paramashiva. All Shiva Bhaktas are my near and dear ones. And all the three worlds, Bhuvanatrayam, I should say that the three layers of cosmos is my home country. Is my home country. Swadesho Bhuvanatrayam. So where are the aliens? The idea of aliens does not exist in Hinduism. That is why the idea of land grabbing, country grabbing, nation grabbing, power grabbing, all that does not exist in Hinduism. The idea of lobbying, becoming power center, converting a nation, using fear or greed, all that does not exist in Hinduism because Hinduism is all about the whole universe coexisting. That is why I say you need to understand Hinduism a little bit. You can't use the word religion as you understand as per Oxford Dictionary on Hinduism. Hinduism is far beyond that. It's a cosmic principle. Shared, gifted to the human beings from cosmic beings. From the cosmos itself. These great beings, how they exist complementing each other, how the intense oneness among them is powerful, radiating, extremely extraordinarily 